hundreds of students, parents, teachers, and community leaders marching through downtown Columbia to the State House Tuesday morning. National School Choice Week is a platform for parents, students, and teachers to come together to show their support for public education, private schools, virtual schools, charter schools, magnet schools, homeschooling. Right now, parents aren't allowed to send their child to different public schools, regardless of zip code or school district. Organizers are pushing legislators to change laws so children aren't forced into certain school districts. We think this message is especially poignant. Choice is how you get high quality education options into our rural communities, into our urban communities, and give every parent, regardless of where they live, their zip code, their income, the chance to have a high quality education for their child. I think everyone has a certain type of school that works best for them, so I'm here to support that choice. Governor Nikki Haley showing her support by declaring January 26th through January 31st, National School Choice Week in the Palmetto State. But we want to give more control to our parents, more comfort to the kids, and make sure that everybody feels like in South Carolina they can get the best education that best suits them. But the subject of school choice still leaves state Democrats with concerns. Let's make the public schools work. Uh, once we've done that, then you can talk about other things. But until you get the public school systems to work and work efficiently and effectively to address the needs of or, or the bulk of the kids here in South Carolina, I don't think we need to entertain this idea of using public funds to pay for, to pay for private schools. Despite conflicting views, parents who are here Tuesday fully support choice. Choice in education should be every parent's right. Because who knows what's best for a child than their own mom and dad? Certainly one size does not fit all. And it's a choice that will continue to fuel controversy in South Carolina. In Columbia, Shelley Domchek, Watch Fox News. Of my lucky number, so I knew I'd get in. In my two and a half years at